This video is about Osmia Canuta, Orchard Mason Bee. She was a relatively new arrival in the United Kingdom and it's one of the earliest solitary bees to appear in early March. So this video is about where the first one was found in the United Kingdom, what they like to feed on and where they like to nest. And there's also a little map if you're interested in coming to see one where you can find them. I've just had one feeding on this narrow strip of Alconet by St. Ursula's school. I'm pretty sure they nest in the wall here um, where it's a uh, it's not being repointed and it's a little bit bit worn so the bees can get into the mortar and it's literally 100 meters away from where i found the first one in 2014 not that i knew it until 2016 when david noton who was still at the natural history museum sent me an email told me that he'd misidentified it he thought it was an andrea fulva which is tawny mining bee and it was actually orchard mason bee which had just been discovered down in Barnes in 2016. And the email said, you actually found the first Osmia Canuta in the United Kingdom. Mm. Made me feel quite good. But full credit to David Noton and the serious bee experts, because I'm just a lay person. So I'm now going to go down to the spot where I took that first photograph. April the 14th, April 2014. I mean, there's nothing particularly spectacular about this bit of Alconet and Bramble, but it suits the Osmia Canuta in March when the Alconet comes into flower. In you know, about um, two weeks' time, when, or maybe even a week, when this blossom is out in the gardens of 48 and 46 High Vale, the orchard mason bees will be up there feeding. I, and I'll be here with my binoculars and I have to warn them that I'm uh, not a peeping Tom. I'm just actually watching solitary bees on their blossom. So here's some pictures of the Osmia canuta on the blossom trees that I took over the last couple of years. Mason bees are pretty distinctive. You know, bright orange tails and mouths, and very black, you know, thorax and head. Um, if you look closely, they got a little horn. Well, two little horns actually. I say that with authority because I've learnt it. Occasionally, I identify an Osmia canuta, and it's not. It's an actually uh, a red mason bee but the exports point this out to me, which I'm happy to be wrong and corrected. So I'm now on my street, which is what I like to call a uh, Orchard Mason Bee Way. So I discovered them over at High Vale in the Butterfly Bank area, what I call the Butterfly Bank. Um, but actually, for the last uh, seven years, uh, I've seen them all the time uh, feeding on my street, on the Sweet Violet and uh, the Alconet and even the Comfrey. And uh, they nest up there on, um, on my balcony in a little habitat wall, which was given to me exactly, uh, what is it now? It's seven years and 360 days ago, which is my 50th birthday, given to me by my good friend John Little. But they also nest in the chimneys, in the walls. Pretty amazing. You see it's got scaffolding up at the moment, which when I get it together, I'm going to put a time-lapse camera and film them in and out, in and out of the holes of the habitat wall. Also with red mason bees, because there's a lot of red mason bees here too.
And hairy footed flower bees. Well, I've watched hairy footed flower bears nest in this wall and the wall on the north side, because apparently bees don't nest on the north side. Well, they do in my house. often ask me how I know so much about bees and wasps well I don't actually I'm just a lay person and what I do know is thanks to some really generous people on the social networks on Twitter um, at Stephen Falk and Ian C Beavis and on Facebook it's the public page which you know the public group of the bees wasps and ants recording society where if you post a picture one of the many experts out there will will tell you what it is and many of those experts have become experts because of the bees ants and wasps public group so um I'd like to say thanks to all of those, and if you want to get into this little world of buzzing bees and wasps, get posting your pictures on Facebook or Twitter, and you can start to engage. So thanks to all those people who've helped me over the last 10 years, and you know, while you're here, you know you really want to, and you know, I really want you to, too. Thanks for watching.